Hey everyone, welcome back to Skyrim with me, Bajax, a Dalla Forest Born, and legs and silly outside for maybe the last time with the Dalla Forest Born. Uh, yep, this. This is the finale of Dalla's story. At least I'm hoping so. <laughs> I'm really hoping I fit everything in. If I don't, then the last episode's gonna be weird because it's gonna be super small. Whatever. Let's not waste any time now. Let's, um, get to it. And right now, I need to take my cloak off. Just a cloak. Can't take the hood off now because of this outfit. Uh, um, let's have... Um, I don't even have any... Uh, let's have some vegetable soup again. I need some meat. I'm going to buy some stuff. Um, I, I don't know if this is... Someone said. I think Tracy said which one of the pheasants... Pheasant breast is... No, I don't think it's cooked. Damn it. And a jug of milk. Yummy. Right. Let's uh, buy food. Before we turn in for the uh, night. Well, this is really quite a nice town when you get down to it. Just look at the view. Indeed, it is quite nice around here. Uh, can I see where you have for sale, please? Let's sate that appetite. Hmm? I just ate, but this is uh, this will be for the road. Yum, yum. Um, huh. Well, I'll buy that now. Uh, and I'll buy that just in case. And that. Okay. Uh, can I rent a room, please? Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you very much. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Okay, then. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I've definitely stayed here before. But I don't know. It's been a long time. <clears throat> Let me know if there's anything else you need. I will. Thank you very much. Uh, right. Let's go to bed. Wow. It's <laughs> quarter past three in the morning. Um, uh, three, two, quarter past two, quarter past one, quarter past twelve, eleven, twelve. Yeah. Let's just have seven hours. We can sleep at home, it doesn't matter. So yeah, the finale, like right at the end of this episode, is going to be quite a bit different. A lot of this stuff is different in this episode than what I thought in my head. It's just that I can't really get... Uh, it's weird to explain, but it seems like I can't get what I wanted to happen. It's not It's not something huge, like I wasn't going to like do a super awesome, like, you know, thing. It was just, I thought it would have been more nice, but whatever. It, it doesn't matter if I don't do it. Well, I'm leaving now. Idiot. Okay, let's get legs and, uh, silly. Legs. Um, follow me. I could use your help. And, uh, silly, let's go quick. Everyone's coming out. They're gonna get freaked out with you, I think. Let's roll out. Um, okay, so I need 20 Jazz Bay grapes so I can take back to the new Newt Farmer. I, I'm, I'm assuming, like, I know she asked me ages ago. Uh, probably like a month month ago at this point, um, but I, I'm gonna assume she's asked other adv adventurers to get some through, like in between when I accepted the job and now. Um, otherwise, her farm, well, at least her known route actually would be in trouble. Uh, I don't know why I'm collecting this stuff. I'm still an alchemist, damn it. Uh, can't find it. Jazz berries are normally seen on the path. Hmm. Not seeing any now. Damn it. All this. Oh. Hello. I can't pick them. Someone's picked them. Really now? Uh, I think there's some up here. Stick to the path until I can turn off, I think. Oh, yes. And I did test it. And uh, I only get. I still only get two butterfly wings. Um, see? Which I guess makes sense. I mean, they don't have four wings. Uh. Ah, what was that? Oh, I, th I thought I was like undead then. Well, I mean you are undead, but you know what I mean. Okay, so all to all together, I need to collect ten uh, jasper grapes. Um, and they're pretty hard to find. Ah, why can't I pick these? How have they been picked already? Do you? Is this from the last time I was here? I hope I can. Uh, hope I can find ten. Why are you naked? We had the game starting to fall apart now, I guess. I'm just going to go off the path here. I've been all... I've, like, explored this place for. Dal is not too, um... Too worried. Although they are, like, giants, wolves, and stuff like that, yeah. Hmm. Alright, we're getting a bit lucky now. Uh, creep cluster. Did I just pick that up? No. Okay. Another six more. 
Go out to beds and stuff too. Aha, I see you done that. So let's collect you. So after this, we're going to be heading to Riftan. Because I do want to say goodbye to Miol. I also want to give Miol something too. Um, which I can't actually give it to her. But we're going to have to role play. I'm giving it to her. Uh, whoa, hello. Um, calm down. Walls are quite a bit bigger than uh, Silly. Wow. Well, I guess he doesn't have any... Uh, you know, meat on him or anything. Just a scale dump or whatever. Should be some up on this platform here. Maybe. Yes. You can kind of guess with where, where Jarsbury grapes are. A lot of dragon tongue and uh, creek cluster around here though. Um. Aha, right here. Okay, so we need four more. Right? Was it three? 16, 18, 20. Yeah, it's three. Three more. Sniff them out for me, boy. So, yeah, I'm so glad I got this green thumb perk because I would not have liked to have found uh, 20 Jazzberry grapes. At, at this point in the uh, role play, anyway. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. I can see some over there and maybe up there. Let's just keep heading this way now because I'm assuming I'm going to find uh, one more. Uh... Yes, right here. We have got all the uh, jazz bays. Avrusi Sarethi. Avrasa. Avrusa Sarethi. Uh, what's this place? Whoa, what the hell? Witches, witches. Uh, oh, don't die here. I'm going to quick save you. I do not want to collect all them again. Right. Stupid witch. Bring it on. I will come you. Damn it. Um, I can't hit her. What? What were you saying? Huh? Did I actually hit you a calm before? Uh, what have we got? Can we trade? You got nothing. You must I'm gonna... one of those wizards from the college. I am, and I'm powerful too. I'm gonna see if she's got any uh prisoners here or anything. Look at this place, disgusting. Does a uh, now that I think about it, does this hag turn into a hag raven? Because uh, when you do the um, uh, date request, where you what is it? It's for salmon, the drinking contest for the sanguine rose. Uh, when you come back, yeah, there's a um, hag raven here that says, "Ah, you were supposed to marry me," and yeah, now there's a hag there. So I wonder if she actually managed to transform into it. Uh, cool. That's a really nice detail. Okay, let's uh, let's head back onto the path now. I'll collect more jazz bays. Why not? Let's head back onto the path over here. I think we're behind the uh, giant's camp here. Yeah? So I don't know if I I don't know if I want to skip to Riftan. I think I may do like a highlight path, you know, like a, I'll walk, but if anything wants to fight me, I'll show it in and stuff. But uh, let's find ah there it is. Want to make sure I don't go near these giants, even though I killed one of them before. Oh, I miss it when I was like experimenting with poison stuff. Seems like I strayed away from that in Act Two. Um, I really like Act One. I just really like doing mundane stuff. Like, even though, you know, I, f I feel like Adala really felt like a citizen of um, uh, Skyrim, you know? Uh, like a... Just like a weak, a weak wizard just trying to make her way through life, you know? And then when Act 2 came, we all kind of like... Uh, kind of almost... Almost give Adala too much protection. Like, I, I felt like I could do more things that was out of the realm of what Adala could do in Act 1. Which I suppose what, what was supposed to happen anyway. Like, Mjol was... It was supposed to show Mjol's uh, strength and that. Um, so, it makes sense that Adala was able to do stuff she wouldn't have been able to do with it, without Mjol. Um, and uh, Act 2 was just, you know, saving the world, I guess. Even though no one really cares. <laughs> So, yeah. Uh, what's this? Mzalft. This is where... Was this where me, Berlina and Jazago went? That was fun. That... Oh, yeah. For the... Uh, to find the Staff of Magnus from there. That was fun. 
I enjoyed that. You were in their legs. It was fun. Uh, it is this way to Riften, right? I better set a marker. What's the... Return... Ah, okay. Yeah, that's going to be... Okay, so we're almost by uh, Riften. We're going to have to head that way and... Our final destination! Which isn't death. It's back home. Aw. Oh, Adala. We are almost at the end. I don't know. It feels like Adala would be doing a lot more. Oh. It's calm now. Adala's not feeling very, uh, very violent. <clears throat> very violent. Just wants to, uh... You know. Hello, little wolf. You okay? I'll, uh... Actually, little wolf. He's, uh... There's some food for you. If it would stop rolling. Don't push me. Silly, I know you want this food. Let's feed the wolf. There we go. We should probably get out here now before the... Uh, for <laughs> Guys, there's a wolf right there. Be careful. Okay, I gotta be careful now. Because I know there's like a... F there could be quite a few bears up here. Okay. I like how the wolves like, oh, hello, you got a friend there. What the hell? How? How are they resisting it sometimes? Uh, does. Does. Uh, like. Like illusion spells have like some kind of um, percentage? Uh, sp p uh, what am I trying to say? Like a percentage check? I, I don't know. Seems like it's weird. Maybe when when we get into battle, they they're more resistant. I don't know. Um, I actually didn't want to go the way of uh, Shaw, like Shaw Stone Way. And I think that's the way I'm going. Uh, am I going up to a mine? Yeah, I think I'm going up to a mine. Yeah, hold on a minute. What's down here now? Spider, huh? Well, I've got to take you out no matter what. Um, ugh, too many spells. This one's big, man. Pow! Tis my thunder. Oh, I guess lightning in this case. Disgusting. I will always uh, not mind killing spiders. Yeah, I went up the wrong turn and then. Huh? No, I calmed you. We were supposed to be friends. Oh, I'd see his eyes well, uh, like widen then when I uh, hit him with the calm spell. It was like for a split second. That was weird. That was creepy. But, uh, <laughs> quick save quite a bit, Joe, because these uh, long paths here can. These long paths here can be a bit of a bummer when you uh, die, you know? Nice try, Wolf. Well, good bite, I guess. A lot of wolves here. What the hell? I'm not complaining. I would rather see uh, wolves than bears. But there are a lot. Looks like no hunters have really been out. I don't know. Yeah, and I've, uh, I just realized, I looked at, like, I saved, like, um, uh, I took a picture of me all stats before I, um, sent her off on Act 2, and, uh, I was only level 27, that means in Act 3 I've only, or the entire college quest, I've only gone up three levels, and that was with the training and stuff. Hello? Hey, friend. It's good to see another I don't know why I got my, why I'm ready into bat for battle. Ah, but you look tired. Come, share a bottle of hunting brew mead with me. Um, yeah, sure, I'd love to share a drink with your friend. Ah, nothing like fine spirits to help raise your... Well, your spirits. Cheers, my friend. May your adventures find you fame and fortune. You too. Uh, I can't drink now. Um, I, I just had a bit to drink at the inn, so uh, thank you anyway. Adala's not going to trust it. It might be poisoned or something. Uh, be careful, guys. There's uh, two walls that way. I guess Adala would see them off, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, they look strong enough. I'm sure they can take down two walls. 
Although I don't, didn't see them with any weapons. Uh-oh. Uh, there's a bear here, right? Isn't it normally hiding behind this uh, rock? Remember I came this way before and there was a bear there. Oh, well. Maybe they changed positions. Rift down we are looking for. A bear. Oh, great. A big hill. That's going to hurt my ankle. And... Oh, great. Great, great, great. Calm it. Yes. You are calmed. Like, stop. Uh, actually, I'm going to... I'm gonna give it some food, so maybe it, like it'll say it, it's um it just pooped out, see? That was very quick uh a quick uh eating and pooping of the food. Um yeah, maybe if I feed it now I won't be tempted to attack anyone else, but that's it now, I'm out of food. <laughs> so if anything else uh attacks me, maybe I'll defeat it. I don't know. I don't know. The bears are so uh, so sneaky in this game. Like, they always hide behind trees and stuff. And, um... Yeah, it's the, they're, quite, they're quite fast, too. Okay, that's weird, like, then. <laughs> Probably because of uh, Dolomite weathers and... Oh, poor thing. I think I could resurrect that, actually, with the, the cheat spell. Like, oh, I'm not going to, though. I've never uh, actually done that. I've always been worried about it breaking. Plus, there's no one I've really wanted to uh, resurrect. Sorry for the um, lack of, uh, I guess, deaths of my companions. I feel like that adds a lot of, um, you know, a lot of weight, I guess, uh, if someone likes a character. But uh, I never thought, I never thought it was right for me all to perish because she is powerful. But maybe uh, I was, I was thinking of having either Onman, Berlina, or Jazago falling in battle. But uh, I just never did. Just it, it would have felt too forced, I think. It would have been like a death. It would have been like me having them die. I mean, I've, I've been here before. Oh, well. I know there's hags and witches in there. Um, yeah, I've, I've been there. Weird. Um, but oh, well. Uh, yeah, I thought if I had Berlina on Mando or Jazago die, it would have felt too forced. Um... And I really don't like it when, like, a uh, series of any kind, kind of... I've gone completely around. I didn't want to do this, but anyway, we're going to go to the farm. We'll go... Oh, yeah, we'll go to Riften, and then we'll go back around that way. That makes sense, but I wanted to go Riften first, then, yeah, but it doesn't matter. I'm actually glad, because I didn't want to go up Shawstone way, like I said, and I didn't now. Or oh, am I? I think... No, I'm not. I don't know. But we're almost at the uh, farm anyway. No. Hey, actually, hey, I, I I'm if my me memory is not mistaken, me this dude. You know what? Actually, I'm I'm gonna make you fr no, cause they'll kill him, man. Yeah, he's a bandit though. Okay, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna fear him because I'm gonna scare him off. No, you know what? He uh, led me up there before. Um, and he was going to kill me. I hope that was actually in this roleplay. I'm sh I'm almost certain it was. And not like uh, when I was playtesting off in a different... Um, I'm going to kill this thing. I hate skivas. Huh? Sorry, uh, Bones. Uh, I mean, silly. Why am I saying Bones? Uh, maybe because it is Bones, but... Oh, well. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. He's led me up there and tried to kill me with his uh, bandit gang. I don't forget. Oh, jeez. Oh, what the hell, man? Go away. Alright, you're too powerful for calm. This is weird. Um, you know what? Go away. You're annoying. Right, we are almost at the farm. Ha ha ha. She's like, I'm, oh, oh, never mind, I'm out of here. Ha! <laughs> Scared of the telekinesis. Call me Civil the Hedgehog. Because I fling you across Skyrim. Right, we have arrived at the farm. Now, let's see if we can find his, uh, student here. 
Ah, there she is. I just want to see her new root farm again. It's always impressive to see. Oh, what happened? What the hell? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Oh. Jeez. Good job, sir. Good job. I I don't know where she came from. I didn't see her on the path. I can't let you. Um. Try not to step on her stuff. Avrusa, Avrusa. Uh, Miss Sareti, I uh, I'd yes? like to, I'd like to talk to you. Could always use help picking crops if you need a few extra coins. About uh, Cinderion, but uh, first I've brought you twenty jasper grapes for your farm. Fantastic! I was concerned I had asked for too many, but I'm glad to see you proved me wrong. Let me at least give you something for your efforts. Finding all of these couldn't have been easy. Or cheap. Wow, thank you for the portions. That's that's all awesome. Sam. Thank you very much. I had no trouble with the um I had no trouble finding them. Um unfortunately I have news about Cinderion, your old uh, master. I've unfortunately found his remains. I knew this day would eventually come. At least poor Cinderion died doing what he loved. His field research. I told the old fool we should take it easy, but he was too stubborn. Perhaps someday I'll continue where he left off. It's the least I can do, considering how much he did for me. Um, yeah, I, Cinderion also inspired me to start my little adventure in Skyrim. His, uh, his compendium really w made me want to go out and, uh, make all the different portions I can make and stuff so <clears throat> yeah I'm, I'm really sorry to uh, tell you this news seems like a great person um, oh and I also have something else for you uh, give me one second legs open up I need uh, I need the crimson noon root for alright thanks legs um, hello I have the um... alright let me go into third person um, Miss Arethia yeah. I've I've actually brought some noon root, a very special noon root that Cinderion was uh, looking for in Blackreach, and I thought I should give um, uh, I should I thought I should give them to you. You seem a lot more um, knowledgeable about noon root than I am. So yeah, I brought this crimson noon root for you. You gathered quite a few of them, I see. I'll search through Cinderion's notes and find some more information about the crimson noon root and its properties. Here you are. Thank you. You've done alchemy a great service by helping to complete Cinderian's work. I'd like to give you this tome. It's one of Cinderian's greatest works. I believe you've more than earned it. Thank you very much, Miss Rethy. Um, I'm actually going to be leaving uh, Skyrim now. Um, because <clears throat> finding Cinderian has made me want to... Um, Go to different, um, you know, go to uh, travel Tamriel, finding all different uh, flora and seeing what portions I can make out of them and stuff. But uh, if you don't mind me asking, how did you and Cinderion meet? When I was very young, I was sent to Skingrad in Cyrodiil to study with him. He was a strange Altmer, paid more attention to his research than his own well-being. He lived in the basement of an inn, for goodness sakes. How did he end up in Skyrim? I, I think Adala would know. Yeah, Adala does know, but we'll just go along with it. Well, after I fled Morrowind during the eruption, I made my way here. My family had purchased this farm, and it's all we had left. Years later, Cinderian simply showed up at our doorstep asking to stay for a while. Said he was going to do field research. He stayed with us for decades. Became an uncle of sorts to Aduri. Then he left for Blackreach, I suppose. One day he simply ran out to me in the field, excited that he'd made some sort of a breakthrough, and he was going to head out on another trip. He never returned. From the journal you discovered, I'm sure you know the rest. Ah... Uh. Seems like he was real family to uh, Sarethi, um, you know, Avrusa. 
Um, so I think Adala definitely wouldn't put her in the same standing like a student with Cinderion. I guess Adala is in student. He, he, more, he more or less just inspired her to start her journey. But she still feels some kind of like um, master student type um, like feelings with Cinderion. Like his compendium and stuff did teach her about alchemy and stuff. So um, yeah. Okay then, Miss uh, Sarethi, I'm going to be heading out now, but I hope one day we'll meet again. Maybe I can bring back a lot more uh, rare flora and new root for you. Goodbye, Sarethi, Miss Sarethi. I will. Hopefully one day. Farewell. She has been running non-stop. Uh, I assume it's the death of this <laughs> thief. Alright, so we have done it, people. We completed Cinderion's work. We collected the 30 Crimson Urn Root and took them back to his student. Okay, so it's time to head to, uh, I was going to say Blackreach then. It's time to head to Riftan because I am going to see Meol. Oh yes, and um, you know being in Blackreach really made me think how much I would like a game. Like I hope um, video games get to a point where this can happen. But I would really like that... To be like a uh, an open world or sandboxy type kingdom like this. But I also hope that without any like loading screens. Like maybe a loading screen to go down down underground. But no loading screens when you're down underground. That There's like a gigantic cave system that spans the entire map. Like underneath the uh, kingdom like this. Uh, because I think it would be awesome to, be p to play as like a dwarf. And, but just stay underground. Uh, that would be awesome that would. Maybe like a underground main quest and a above world main quest. That would be awesome. Oh, I'd love that so much. Because being in Blackreach made me think I would just love to stay underground. Oh, no. Drug dealer. Get back to GTA San Andreas, man. So CJ can kill you in one of the first uh, le uh, missions. Damn, I need to play that game again. So fun. So, so fun. Wow, I can't believe we're walking this road again. Oh, this is weird now, because I'm going to be walking this road, and then walking back. I think, I think I'll get to Riftan. Um, you know, you know what, I'm going to skip you to Riftan. Um, because we're going to walk back this way anyway, so I don't want you to see the path twice. I don't mind walking it twice, but I don't want you guys to see it twice, so I will see what Riftan now. And we are at Rifter now, and I'm trying to get Silly to wait you, but it's not letting me. Uh, will you wait? You'll wait. Silly won't. Uh, if he won't, I'm just going to take him in with me. Uh, I don't know what to say for the roleplay, but okay. Let me. I can't click anything. It's not letting me click anything with Silly. Huh. I'm going to have to take him in with me. I, for a roleplay reason, I don't know what I'll say. It's just the game's not letting me keep him here. Strange. You know what? You might as well come with me and Legs. Um, maybe if you're there, pe people will think that this thing isn't like super hostile. I don't know. This thing. Sorry, silly. You know what I mean. The people are just thinking, oh, she's a freak. Um... Yeah, Starfall's being weird as well. A lot of long uh, paths. Okay, I think I may be a bit too late to catch Mjol. And I hope Mjol ain't naked because, uh, yeah, she is. Damn it! Um. Oh, no, now she ain't. Oh, thank goodness. She was just now. I seen her. Uh, Mjol! It's good to see you again. You be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. Mjol, it's me, Adala. Uh, you know, we journeyed all, all together. Please don't go naked, yeah. Um, Mjol, I have something to tell you. I am leaving Skyrim. I have decided that I, uh, I really want to go explore the world. And um, I think I need to head up from Skyrim. Thanks to you and uh, all the people I've met, you've definitely made me stronger and more confident to uh, be able to um, go ahead out on my own. I have got my uh, pets here as well, I guess. Um, but yeah, thanks me all. I have something to give you, which I can't exactly do, but Adala right now is giving me all the, uh, lexicon that the wizard gave her. Why did her fingers just shake crazy then? So yeah, um, 
she's given me all the lexicon and Adal is saying to her um, if you want an adventure Mjol, um you can head to um, oh, I'm just gonna mark it on Mjol's map you know the, the I forgot what the uh, Avst, Aztem I forgot what the Azteft I forgot what the Dwarven ruin is, called, ruin is called but yeah head you Mjol um, you will head to a place called Black Reach and if you go further than that there is an Elder Scroll uh, if you're looking for an adventure some crazy wiz wizard uh, told me to take the lexicon back to him after I put the bunch of dwarven uh, dwarven you know teachings I guess knowledge into it uh, he's north of the college of Wintold you'll see his boat outside of the glacier he's in um, anyway yeah Head to that place if you want to find an Elder Scroll and for some uh, some amazing adventures. But yeah, thanks me all. Thank you so much for everything you've uh, done for me. And uh, I hope to meet you again one day. Farewell me all. Until next time. I see I still have much to learn. Lead on. Uh, uh, okay, she said a very heartfelt goodbye to Adala there. Um, you know what? It's late. I'm not super tired. I'm heading out. I'm heading home. I know you may think, wouldn't it be smarter to, um, uh, guys, I would collect you all, but, um, I have enough portions, I think. I know I'm still an alchemist, and one day I will come back and collect you all, and by that I mean kill you all, but, um, for now, I just want to focus on getting home, and I do have a lot of, uh, ingredients anyway. Hello. So right now then, Mjol has the lexicon, the blank lexicon, I think it's called. Um, the Dalad. Uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, I won't go into it now. But our main object objective now is... <clears throat> I can't believe it. It's to head home. We are heading home. This is it, people. The last, uh, the last run. The last path we will take. Um, oh, I'm quite sad. Um, again, uh, when I started this series, I didn't think it was going to go further than like five episodes. I thought it, it, I'd reach like five episodes and then just delete it. Like, uh, no one's interested. And not that I thought I would just be disinterested, I guess. Um, like, lose, you know, once the novelty wore off of a new series. Because that happens a lot with me. <clears throat> Uh, but thanks to everyone's support and everyone's love for Adala as a character and the series, I thought I'll keep it going. I seeing everyone's like positive comments, I was like, I'm I'm having fun as well. Kind of like transferred into me. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it. And like I said, I really wanted to do an uh, alchemist uh, playthrough, um, which I feel like this is done. Uh, I there there were a lot of other quests I wanted to do. I wanted to do the um, you know what they called the. You know the three brothers, uh, the three three mages that were banished. I wanted to do that quest because I thought that suited Adala, but again, it, it wasn't like <clears throat> super important to Adala's story, so I didn't mind that I didn't follow through with it. <clears throat> we were at the start of it. Remember when I took a trip up to Markarth, and uh, I think it was on the way back to White Run, I found the cave uh, that should have started that uh, quest. I think it did. I just didn't go through with it. I thought it would be more roleplay wise if I like got a bit frightened like Adala did. So yeah, um, I need to be careful here. So um, yeah, um, so yeah, I thought I was gonna end the uh, roleplay after five episodes or so, and uh, now that we're at the end, I am quite sad. Um, again, this uh, series now has been very. Uh, so when I started I wanted a series, like a long series to start, just so if I have anything, like if I ever get the urge to record, I could just come back and be like, you know, I'll just do some Skyrim. Uh, maybe, even if it's like one episode every few weeks, it's like, at least I have something to come back to. And it'll feel like it's part of like a ongoing thing, you know, not just a random, a random uh, video of something. <sighs> Oh, geez, thanks so much, Silly. You kind of blocked him, man. Oh, I know I'm going to die at least once on this uh, path. 
where am I going? I gotta go this way now, don't I? I don't think it's this path though. Um, so yeah. I wanted a series that I can just record an episode of every time I get the urge. But uh, now that we're coming to the end of this, I don't think I have any series. Like, I know what I'm going to do next. Um, okay, so Skyrim is coming back. What is that over there? Horses. Oh, no. Elks. Skyrim is coming back, of course. I do want to do the sequel um, uh, story to Adala's. But um, it's going to take a long time because since I want it to be persistent, like the world to be persistent, it's not going to be entirely um, uh, correct in its continu continuity. But I, I got to I gotta repeat all of the quests i done with Adala um, on the new one, uh, on the sequel uh, story. Um, so yeah, it's going to take a while for me to get that one going, but I do want to do it. Um, it is going to be a Dragonborn uh, character, but I kind of want to give it a little bit more uniqueness, I guess. I kind of want to make my own mercenary band um, with an actual, um, uh, what's the word, hierarchy, is that the right word? Um, with like ranks and stuff. That's kind of what I'm thinking, but that's going to be hard to do. So if, if I can get, like, th that'll be Act 1. So if I can get that, like, sorted out, then uh, that'll be ready to go. But again, I need to do all the quests I've done with the Dala, so um, that's going to take a while. I can you growl in? Um, where did, actually, Legs, are you? Yeah, Legs isn't attacking uh, <coughs> hostile stuff, which is weird. Let me check the map. Am I lost? No, we're coming to the end of the path, I mean. <clears throat> oh, I better not go home and there's like two bears waiting in my, in my house, you know. So, yeah, um, since this series is ending now, i got to start new series. And uh, it's just not going to have the same, like, homeliness that this series did for me. Like, I got comfortable. Like, I'm comfortable uh, with this series, like I can just come on, just record something, don't have to worry about my commentary sucking, even though it does, but you know, I feel like it doesn't suck with because I'm comfortable enough for this series. Again, uh, this may be hard to believe, but um, it's really hard starting a new series because, of course, the games are different, so my commentary might not be as good and stuff, so yeah. Uh, what you see in here is complete, complete and utter comfortable beige action in this series, and that. That's going to end. It's kind of scary um, to see what's coming up next. Quite, quite exciting, but yeah. I um, I am just quite sad to see this series end. I can't believe I completed it. I, ne I never thought I would complete a uh, Skyrim uh, series. Uh, and again, I know that uh, people normally have this Sky uh, Sk uh, bleh, Skyrim series go for like 300, 200... Uh, parts. Uh, mine is on the short end. It's under a hundred episodes, but I did kind of like merge the uh, <clears throat> 30 minute episodes to one hour towards the end. So maybe it was about a hundred episodes if you like split them up Maybe about I don't know why this dude's still naked um, About hundred uh, hundred hundred one episodes Which again, I can't believe I actually got it under a hundred episodes or around that mark, you know Okay, now we're at the end. I know what I am now. A uh, short walk to my um, uh, house here. And I am quite angry. I should have eaten that rift up, But I'm so close to the house, I just wanted to get home. Um, oh, actually, maybe I, uh, maybe I can have something small here. Yeah, maybe take out a bit of cooked beef. Kind of like cutting it with my fingers in my bag. And then like, you know, ripping it apart with my hands in the bag. And then uh, eating it. But um, yeah, I can't believe it. I would love to if I if I kept the source video for um, episode one. I would have done like a parallel like a parallel now with me walking home compared to me leaving away. But uh, I never keep my old source videos because I just don't have the memory from. I would add a lot of flashbacks and stuff like that. They probably would have been full of them in this uh, uh, episode if I um, if I still had them. I thought you were a bear then, silly. You scared the crap out of me. I that's what I'm waiting for. I'm looking for a bear. Um, I know there's one normally up here. I better keep my calm spell out. Adala, you live in a dangerous area. This is it, peeps. It's just around that hill and we are home. <sighs> I can't believe it. 
I cannot believe it. I was going to do some alchemy when I get home, but no. It's the end. Uh, Adalil. Adalil probably... Adalil. Adalil will probably um, stay in Skyrim. Maybe one or two days. Collect uh, ingredients around you. Maybe go to Ivestead to buy some food for heading out. But um, yeah. She is heading out. I can see her. <sighs> Hope no one's like moved in. Chickens! Chickens, you're alive! I know I put enough food down for you both. Hey, chickens! Um, let's put the lanterns on. Just gonna stay quiet and take it in for a minute. Hey, chickens. Okay. I didn't want to take that. Whatever. I can't put it on. I'm gonna keep it off, actually. Um, silly legs. Have we gone in the house? You have not. Uh, do I have a lantern in here? Thought I did. Looks like no one took nothing. This place is really out of the way compared to uh, what I remembered. Legs, keep guard here, please. And silly, stay here. This is your new home, and I can't click nothing. You're with me forever, aren't you? Um. Okay, so. Okay, that's back because I've. <laughs> <laughs> Pretend the bandits took that. Let's say Adala made her own. Adala made her own. It's back there because I I think I... Uh, why is it back there? I don't know. I never noticed how nice your uh, blanket was, Adala. It's like really colourful. Silly. You're being silly now. Get it? Ha ha ha. Um, right, I'm going to sleep until daytime. Let's, uh, let's eat actually out here. I was gonna end it when I get you, but let's uh, let's wait till daytime. If it rains, I'm gonna be so ticked. I'll I'll sort out them. I know what I'm gonna do. Let's have some uh, potato soup, beef, some spiced wine. Let's just take it all in. We are home. I should put some uh, casual clothes on them. Ah oh, well. Let's go to sleep now. Um, yeah, into the seven. Oh, nice fitting, relaxing music for the end. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Thank you, game. Thank you very much. So that... I didn't want to do that. So that is the story of Adala Forestborn. Let me, uh... Let me uh, take the um, display off here and let me actually summon in, uh, I'm going to summon in Fig Jam and Lupo because they are the ones that, that were with me the most. But of course we do uh, say goodbye to um, um, Aurora and Torin too. Uh, legs, actually everyone come around by legs. Come around this way. In front of the house. I know I kept my lanterns on, but uh, whatever. I'll turn them off. Well, I can't turn it. Oh, I got my display off. Okay, everyone. That is it. Oh yeah, and remember how I said I was gonna? I wanted the dollar to be young because I was gonna. I was gonna make her taller, but I just kind of forgot in the end. That's why I wanted to be young, like teenager, and then grow up. I wanted her to be like 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 to Tofty at the end. I feel got shorter, but I just forgot in the end. But that is it for the story of Adala Forestborn. So the final time we will say goodbye to Silly, Fig Jam, Legs and Torin. I mean Lupo. <laughs> Sorry Lupo and Aurora. So actually I need to close my door. Actually no I'm letting the, uh, letting the uh, autumn air in. So thank you for watching everyone. I hope you have enjoyed. Actually have I got a wave in animation? Uh, they'd be in powers, wouldn't they? 
Um, oh, I do. I hope this turns out right. So thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I'm me, Bayjax. A Dark Force spawn. Fig Jam. Silly. Legs. Lupo. Torin. And Aurora. And everyone else we've met in this roleplay. Shall see you all in the next story. Farewell. I mean farewell! <laughs>